Shoot the leg, shoot the leg, shoot the leg, shoot the leg. Oh, they do do the most damage. That's fine, that's fine. Oh, we're gonna get it. No. Oh, oh my why. god. Are you kidding me? That was a good game, that was a good game. Good game. Hey guys, Wild Bill Gaming here. And as you saw in the last clip, just complete heartbreaker. As we almost got the ATAT -AT down to 5 health, or maybe a little bit less, and we lost. Uh, by Color Puppet and Zidane, we in my squad. We were working real hard. Just couldn't get it though. Just a complete heartbreaker. But hopefully in this video I can give some tips. Kind of a little walkthrough of just part of a game that we actually just defeated and won. So, as the Rebels, first off, as the Rebels, you're pretty much outman, outgun. You have bad terrain, and you're going to die a lot on this side. So just be prepared for that. Um, got hit by the Orbital Strike right there, obviously. One more thing that the ATAT -AT has. So I picked up the shield there. The shield is vital to get around the uplinks to help keep guys there. I'm going to take this guy out and get up on the uplink immediately. I see old darts coming at me. If I shoot him, he's going to kill me. So I know if I sit there and don't shoot him, I can at least probably get the uplink up. So it's vital to get the uplinks, get the Y bombers in there. I put my shield up right here. We're going to go to town. Hope I can get some more guys down here to help me out. Shoot at these. I'm using the ion grenades right now and the DLF-19. Um, the ion grenades do great damage towards vehicles, turrets, anything like that. Do not throw them at that AT-ATs though, no matter if their shields are down or not, because we still have a personal shield that'll make it detonate on you no matter how far it is away. I don't know if that's a bug or whatnot, but that happens every time. If the orbital strike comes in, you see this big red circle and get the warning, get out of dodge. No matter what you're under, if it's shield wise, you'll lose. This is the prominent AT-AT -AT you want to go for right here. When it's down, you can, um, instead of shooting, there's a red marker above it. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. Can't shoot it enough. And then shoot it some more. So every round is better than nothing. So um, I spawn on the left side over here this time, though. Predominantly, this isn't the one I'd want to go for, but you go for this one because I was here. I didn't want to waste time. And the more rounds I can get on it, the better. Trying out the middle just to see if that does any more damage than the legs. But normally, when we go for the legs. It seems to do more damage. But we've all concluded. Just keep working on it. When you see your red bar right up there and it overheats, there's a yellow, little yellow in your bar that comes up, and that's when you want to hit R, and you can immediately go back to firing again. So it's like changing out the barrel on a machine gun. you got a proper time to do it. So keep working on this one until you get a red X. Do not stop firing. So we got a red X there. Got a little dark here. When you get rounds into them, you just got to take them out. We're going for this uplink right now. Like I said, and I can't reemphasize it more, you have to get the uplinks. You need the Y bombers to take down the shields on the ATATs. And the more Y bombers you get, the better. So the longer you'll have the shields down. I don't know why this guy was there where he was, but hey, he was there. The spawn system, right? Um, inside this little bitty cave right here, I feel like people don't know where the uplink is. They stand around this all the time and never arm it. If it's not glowing blue, it's not yours. Here we're taking the AT, AT we got it down. This is a horrible part of the spawn system though I feel. Everybody spawns inside this if you're a rebel while everything's here right now. So you have an AT, AT, all the Imperials. You can't get out of here, but you're supposed to try to take out this AT, AT. It's pretty garbage. That's how I feel about it. So you spawn down here. You got both your uplinks. Somebody just armed this one on the right. I'm going for this one on the left. There's a vital little thing you need right here. And this is where I've normally gotten it right there orbital strike do not use it it stays with you after death so we got a shield up right here we're gonna try to protect this uplink remember uplinks are key if you want to win at playing Walker Assault as the Rebels so it's I don't know how much I can emphasize it enough you have to survive and you have to keep the uplinks up and it's both of them you want both of them up at all times Play hardcore defense on them. Don't run around looking. You are technically looking for kills because the more people you kill off of it, but you're trying to keep these uplinks up under any circumstances. So, see, I'm uploading the uplink right now. Let me go back to it. Keep pulling defense on it. Too many people want to run around. So, here I bust my shield. I know there's people around. I'm arming it. Back up from a grenade. You arm your shield, your personal one. You have enough time to arm the uplink. 
So just remember that there's a bunch of people around. You can kill them. Get your shield up while you're still taking rounds and arm the up one. Don't be scared to get in there. So now you see there's a red dot above it, a big old red circle. We're going to get our orbital strike. I'm going to place it right in front near its head. I'm going to go watch the show. So I hope you enjoy and hope you like the rest of the ending. If you enjoy my videos, please give a like. Leave a comment down below from what I can do to improve what you liked about it. Um, and if you want more content, have a good day. I'll see you in the next video.